Good morning everyone, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you all are doing well. Saying goodbye to Quartzsite, all loaded up. Everything is balanced inside the trailer. The jacks are up, the slides back in. We are ready to travel. And today we're leaving Quartzsite. <laughs> Getting the road officially. Opie, Tara, and I. Come on with me guys, I will be uploading this video with some connecting internet. Check out the video description below for unlimited high speed internet. It, it has worked very well out here this winter for me. But now, it's time to go. I can't begin to tell you guys how happy I am to be back on the road, exploring, not sitting around, uh, we're gonna be camping just outside of Yuma. Haven't been here in a while. I think it's called either Imperial Dam or Senator's Wash. Or maybe there's two of them. But it's, it's another LTDA area, a lot like the Quartzsite LTDAs. It's already included in the pass I paid for, so um, this should be a good spot to camp, I feel like. Uh, it's been several years since I've been out here. Uh, even last year when I toured around Nyland, Slab City, Brawley, Bombay Beach, didn't come out this way. Haven't used this Imperial Dam camping area for a while, but this little spot here at the Yuma Proving Grounds used to be a very popular spot to get water. Not only is the water station completely gone, but at some point they even changed it to non-potable, which means they probably stopped testing it, budget cuts, and then all of a sudden ultimately decided just to get rid of it. <laughs> We're, we're okay though. I got at least a good, a good 10 days of water storage on board. My ribs are feeling so much better. Obviously the pain's still there, but considering six days ago, I would have said my pain level was a nine or a 10. Now it's continually a five or a six, unless I cough or sneeze or anything. We got huge cannon tanks on both sides of 95 here. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna go about 10 miles down this road, actually technically into, uh, forgot the name of the city, but California. We'll be in California, Yuma Proving Ground, and uh, yeah, we'll go get settled into our campsite here. Also, now that I have uh, a full tank of gas in the RV, we need to test out this generator also that Wayne had been working on. He just, he wouldn't give up. I'm just like, all right, dude. <laughs> We'll see when we get parked. But yeah, everything's towing really well. The air ride suspension on the RV, I'm loving. I did adjust it a little bit because of the weight of the trailer. But again, you can see how much more level the trailer is. It's a little bit up, but I'd rather it be a little up than, what was it, like three inches farther down. Heck yeah. I just pulled off here at the Yuma Proving Ground Visitor Center. For some reason, they are closed. I don't see any hours listed, but we got some uh, US Army tanks of all different sizes and uses here. Uh, just says that you cannot climb up onto any of them. <laughs> but they're cool, they're all over the place. It reminds me of the Indiana Jones scene. There's a gunner up there. A lot of vehicles here. A ton of military vehicles. Go check out the entrance and see why it's closed. Looks like we might be done with the rain. Gonna have some sunshine coming up. We got a, a big rocket here. A lot of these have numbers on them. And you can tell at one point there was obviously a plaque here that had a little bit more information, but uh, it doesn't look like uh, Arizona has taken care of this very well. Cause here's another rocket on a trailer. This one doesn't even have a number or, or anything. A big old rocket over there. And, oh, I think, I think we're missing one here, guys. Are all of our rockets accounted for? <laughs> I don't know. All right, here's the, the visitor's entrance here. It is closed. It's closed, it's completely locked up. I don't know, I don't know. Don't see any hours or anything listed, but uh, all right, let's go over to our campground. Here at the Walker Gate of the Yuma Proving Ground, there's a huge chopper. Look at the chopper. <laughs> All right. I see blue skies ahead. All right, we're going to take a right here on Senator Wash Road and around the other side of this little bridge up here. I believe it's just an aqueduct. 
see all the palm trees down there. There's got to be some water. I don't see any. Wait. No, it's this next bridge. <laughs> it's this next one. This is where the water's at. The sign says, no swimming. Yeah, that's how they deliver all their water. And just like that, welcome to California. I want to say Winter Haven, California. That sounds familiar, but... There is some dispersed camping up here on BLM land, but because I've got all my blue passes on the bike, the trailer, and the RV, oh, we're gonna go up here to the official designated LTDA area to check in. All right, here's our turn. I'm gonna go real wide just to see if we can see the water down there. Oh, it's really dried up. Whoa. I've seen pictures of Lake Mead drying up, but my gosh this is crazy so i've actually camped down here which used to be shoreline camping there's no water there anymore there's water over there but a lot less water than i remember huh that is so strange well let's find a spot i'll just mention they really have good amenities here look at all these pull through sites with potable drinking water yeah and then over here, that's all drinking water. There's a bunch of dumpsters that all have lids and they're all closed. That's awesome. And then over here is multiple dump stations, not just two, but look, one, two, three, four. There's four bays of dump stations and no line. All right, we've come down the hill. This is called Senator Wash South Shore. It's just so weird not seeing water right here where I've camped so many times before. That's so strange. Look, I want to show you here. I have literally camped right here. Fire pit. Yeah, and the water was right here. Dang. A sign of times to come. Everything's drying up in California. It looks like. Well, no, I guess this one's actually reserved. It's got two camping chairs next to this picnic table. That'd be a great spot. I'm going to swing wide and make a U-turn here. I would love to be camped next to the water with, like, my passenger door aiming the water at least. But uh, let's go. Let's go past this one. Yeah, those those chairs have rocks in them. They're clearly it's clearly being saved for somebody. If we can't get waterfront, though, let's at least go up here. And get shorefront? Would you call it shorefront? I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, we'll call it shorefront. <laughs> I miss swimming, guys. I miss being able to swim in the winter. This is okay. It's okay. It's better than that Bombay beach I went to last year with the dead carcass smells and everything. I have also camped on the other side of the water up there by that RV's up on the hill over there. And actually, the, clo the closer I get down here, it is actually starting to smell a little bit. I don't think I'm going to go all the way to the water, but there's the water there. Yeah, no more chance of rain. So I'm going to get some sunshine, good weather down here in... Well, I keep saying Yuma. Technically, we're not in Yuma. We're not even in the state of Arizona right now. We're about... If I get the motorcycle out, probably 20 miles from Yuma. But Yuma's got a bunch of great stuff to stop by and look at and see. It's a bigger town. Uh, it's historically about six to eight degrees warmer down here in Yuma than it is in Quartzsite and less windy. So this area, I bet, and especially up on top of the hill, I bet a bunch of people have stayed here all winter and just avoided Quartzsite. It is what it is. I like something different. Let me uh, take a few things out of the trailer, like my barbecue grill. I got some new uh, meat spices to put on. I'll show you later. Let me get comfortable. Uh, before we start grilling today, though, I got a little care package here from Will and Katie of uh, Smoke Masters Championship Barbecue Team. They sent me a bunch of their famous spices here. I guess they're professional championship barbecuers. Memphis Barbecue Network Team of the Year 2018 and 2019. I got a little magnet from them to put on my magnet board there. And uh, they're on YouTube. Check out Barbecue with Uncle Wu on YouTube. Look them up. Here's what we got. Uncle Wu's Memphis Magic. A giant can 
of seasoning there. I don't know which one we're gonna use, maybe all of them. We also got Uncle Wu's Memphis Moo. You can see the color there. A premium barbecue rub. And their championship competition red barbecue sauce, a large bottle of barbecue sauce. So um, I think we're gonna use a couple of these on the chicken today. What do you think, Opie? Let's do it, let's get her started. All right, let's get some chicken on here. I like to do six of these drumsticks at a time. Then I put some in the fridge for later. So wash my hands and then we'll get some seasoning on these. I'm gonna do the Memphis Magic. and the premium barbecue. And then when I flip them, I'll put more spice on the other side too. But low and slow, about 20 minutes, we'll come back and flip these. I know, I eat a lot of chicken lately, but you can't beat it, 12 of these huge drumsticks for $6.49. I'll wrap this up in a freezer bag and cook the rest of this in about three days. All right, I'm pretty sure it's time to flip these guys. Yep, perfect. Just got to be patient with drumsticks. All right. And put some more seasoning on them. A little windy out here. Keep this closed. Another 25 minutes. Well, while that's going here, take a minute to point out I'm feeling a lot better. Uh, going on what now 10 days since I broke two ribs it's been interesting talking with the public about this what would normally be a personal issue you know but you know the public has their opinion because everybody's broken bones and I'm 42 years old and just broke my first two ribs ever bones and uh, it's been an experience when it first happened I had a bunch of people tell me that I was kind of faking it with the crutches um, I couldn't walk around without the crutches I needed that support because my hips and my, my and my ribs just couldn't do it, but then after like two days, it just became too much. It was too it was too hard to walk around in crutches. So I kind of learned to walk in a way that made it feel comfortable to me. And then obviously I got on the motorcycle and rode the motorcycle uh, three or four days after I broke ribs. And then my channel and the internet just blew up, calling me a faker and a liar. <laughs> and I'm like sitting here like, what do you mean a, a liar? Well, apparently nobody can ride a motorcycle with broken ribs. So I'm a magical miracle of a person or incredibly tough. I don't know how to take that because it went one way. Everybody called me a pussy at first and now everyone's saying that I'm lying because it's impossible to ride my motorcycle with broken ribs. So the doctor's lying and the x-rays are fake. Fake, they have to be fake because it's impossible to ride a motorcycle with broken ribs. I'm flattered. I I'm <laughs> I'm absolutely flattered. I, I just don't really know how to take that anymore. I am living my own life. <laughs> uh, I know fact from fiction. Many people watching my videos don't, or they just don't care. But it's really hypocritical because at, at first, everybody called me this for being a wimp, and now everybody's saying nobody could possibly ride a motorcycle with broken ribs. So I am, I am literally a medical miracle, uh, apparently. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm very comfortable on my motorcycle with broken ribs. So that's really interesting. Okay. All right, it's been about 45 minutes and because they're different sizes, I've moved the smaller ones to the hotter part of the grill. Like these three are almost done. These three are gonna take a little bit longer. Plus there's different heating going on on this grill. But the last step, right before they're done, two minutes before they're done, teriyaki sauce and this is a weird one this is a new thing of mine i just bought a new can of this instead of using the little packets i'm going to put a little bit on here so it gets kind of caramelized and and sticky right at the end with teriyaki sauce you can just say it eric you're weird it's okay i accept that i'm different that's for sure and then we'll flip those And then in here in about 90 seconds, I'll put more on the top here and flip them one more time and try some out. All right, I assume it's still gonna be a little hot here, fresh off the grill, but look at this, guys. 
look at this barbecue teriyaki chicken on the grill. It's just sticky. Exactly how I like it. Oh my god, look at that. Eat your heart out, KFC. I have mastered chicken on the bone. Incredible. It's so good, guys. It's so good. And thank you, Will and Katie from Smoke Masters, for sending the uh, treats to put on the chicken. It made it superb. Mm. Door on the ground! Weird. Out of nowhere, just started getting really windy, and my phone said rain continuing for the next couple hours. Which is weird because there wasn't any rain forecasted for tonight. I need to put the grill away, I guess. It is sprinkling. I didn't know it was gonna rain though. Okay. All right, got the bike put away here in trailer swift. I'm just, I'm a little baffled by the change. Yeah, now it says it's gonna rain until 10 p.m. Like just at, at, out of nowhere. It was sunny and beautiful and 0% chance of rain. And now it's 100% chance of rain while raining for the next four hours. Seems like the weather lately has just been forecasted horribly bad. I, I, I know it's difficult to forecast the weather, but oftentimes, 0% chance of rain means I can leave my bike out. There's 0% chance, not even 1%. Uh, whoever forecasts rain blew it again today. Oh well. Opie, why is it raining? Why is it raining, Opie? Tell me. I don't know either, man. Chair Bear, you chilling? Okay. All right, Chair Bear. I don't know. I didn't really come here to ride the motorcycle, although I'm glad that I'm able to do that. Uh, I came here to just kind of rest up and get a change of scenery. And uh, as time goes on, I'll, I'll make some videos until we uh, head east here on the channel, hopefully. Okay? Guys, be well. Opie and Tara and I will see you uh, in a few days. Bye.